I think the, the, the great thing about having been a CEO dealing with the board is that you remember what it's like to be the CEO and the management team dealing with the board. So you don't want to, back to this point, you don't want to tell the CEO what to do, right? It's the last thing you want to do. You want to be really clear about what's the role of the board versus the management team. So it's about making sure we have a strategy that's working, making sure we have the right leader and leadership team, making sure that you know we comply so nobody goes to jail. And increasingly, I think, Gary, making sure that the right culture exists at the organization. Um, so you, you, you want to make sure that you focus on the, on the right topics. And then it's a combination of uh, challenge and support. As a CEO, I wanted to give me to, to have a board that would give me hu superhuman powers by augmenting our skills as a management team. And so sometimes that support give us things that we don't have, give us ideas, give us contacts, but also challenge. I loved preparing for the board meetings because it would force us to articulate our strategy and to be better. I found that actually I would get 80% of the value before showing up at the board meeting through the preparation. But then some of the questions, you know, that and the challenges that the board would give us were, and you had to see them as, as uh, not feedback, but feed forward, right? Inputs. Uh, and so th one of the things I've learned from my coach is uh, when a board member or anybody gives you input or feedback, say thank you, <laughs> smile, and shut up. <laughs> and so you want a chemistry on the board of people who, de who deeply care about the company, who have wisdom, who are not looking for you know a power grab, and have a way to um, navigate at the right level, balancing support and challenge. That's how I would describe it. It's a it's a subtle chemistry.